Um, I want to show you another way of doing it that's a la the cat that every, I shows as an example. Um, this is just another piece that I've been playing with. And I liked the colors. Um, none of it really makes sense because all of a sudden yesterday this fell out of my box of papers and I've been dragging this around forever so I just added it in. But down here I have like flounder and sharks and fish and how do I make these two things make sense? I probably won't. I've got some uh, corrugated cardboard down here. I have a flower here that's actually handmade textured paper. So what I'm gonna do, I've been wanting to do like a little dress with a hanger and, and kind of play with that. So, and I was going to do this I was gonna use it for this, and I'm just using this to kind of find my pattern. What do I, where do I want this to go? This is just another way of doing it. This isn't the only way of doing it. Um, the other ones that, that I've done, I've actually drawn the shape and painted around it. But, um, so I looked at this and I thought, well, that could be kind of fun. This is in no, no place of readiness yet. I still have more to do on this. But then when I got, this morning I came out and I looked at this and I thought, oh, that could be a fun little dress, but I don't want it to be too cute. I could turn it. And, and this is what I often do is I turn things until I find a design that I like and and doing this method of cutting doing a cutout really is helpful for that I really want that face in there and I want the flower there but it might be too too predictable that she's you know I don't know what do you guys think you like this yeah, yeah me too Okay, so what I'm gonna do is now I have the little cutout. Kinda have an idea where I wanna go. My background is very light, uh, very warm. So I'm gonna grab, that's a really good rule to not do things in the middle, but more often than not, I do things in the middle and it, it, it ends up working because there's always a way you can kind of askew it. But generally, don't do it in the middle. It just happens to be, if I do it anywhere else, I'm going to lose what I want. And that is her. I could do it more over here, but then it's too far to the side. I don't want to do this because that's just corny. I think I like that little bird there too but I like the flower the most of all and I want it down low enough that I can actually add a hanger in there um you know what I could do as I'm as I'm saying this once I get her in and I get it blocked in I could always go back and add a couple other in the background to make this work There we go. I've got Azurite Hue here. I, and I, I use these little throwaway, you know, the tops of my cottage cheese as sam, uh, little palettes because they're easy to, to work with and then just toss them away. Um, so there, there's my, my glaze and I'm just using a liquid medium. And that's gonna cut that color down a lot. And I'm just doing this to find out how, you know, if this is gonna work, if I'm gonna like it.
decisions to make. Painting is all about making decisions, about putting marks down, standing back and looking at it and making a decision what your next step is going to be. There's no easy route to it. Um, so now this is at a point where, as, been, ha, as you sh pointed out to me, this is right in the middle. So now I have an idea of what this is going to look like. I can now make a decision. Do I want to add more paper to this? Do I want to add something that's going to pull, make sense with this and pull it off so it doesn't look like this is just a thing in the middle of a painting? Now, and this is kind of, it's a really fun way to do it no matter what little shape you pick. Um, I'm not really sure why I did a little dress. I just thought that would be easy and kind of fun. Yeah, I'm going to put a hanger on it. That was my plan. When that was my plan when I was working on the other piece, when I had planned this for the background. I'll do a hanger for the size of this, but it made more sense when I was working on this because this face, I had to make a decision if I wanted to keep that. That was going to judge where this, where that dress ended up. And the dress is higher than I would want it to be. When it was over on this piece of paper, I could have put the dress down here and had plenty of room for a hanger. Now, I don't have as much room to add a hanger up here. So, uh, well, I am going to still put a hanger, but, but do you see how that decision, it, it's making me have to think now, whereas before, when it was here, where I was going to put the hanger was really easy to figure out. Because I had room to... Well, I think in this case, I kind of need the hanger to... Let's see. We'll do it in Stabilo. I might... And I can do kind of a crazy, wacky little hanger. It doesn't have to be... Like, that works. That works. That, if you can see that, that little hanger works. But I have a lot of space down here to figure out what I'm doing. So, um... That actually does work. So, you know, it could be something as, as simple as, you know, I could find a little pair of shoes to put here, you know, or some crazy little thing that's going to balance this out. So it's just not this little dress floating. I, I haven't decided. I'm just talking because I haven't, you know, now I've got to make a decision on what I'm going to do with this. But I just wanted to show you guys an easy way to figure out, you know, if you find something you like, a bird, um, you know, the scene that I showed with the, the forest was really pretty cool. Now that you would, you could cut out, but it's easier to paint that in. This is just a really fun, simple way to do it with simple shapes, okay? So I'm going to have to put this guy aside to dry. Our next one. So let's go back to this one again. Um, I'm just going to use the same color because it, I like to build up my colors. So I've got my paper color. I've got the transparent color. Now let me go around and define where my little uh, hanger is going to be. I like that arrow. I want to keep the arrow. Whoops, I actually want to keep that black line. I kind of like that paper. I don't want to lose all of that. I love being in your head, Denise. <laughs> yeah. The whole thing, though, is being in the music room. It says the gothic that I love the birds in the background. It's like it's like they're cheering you on. <laughs> Let's see, I want to bring that down a little bit more so it don't, I don't lose my hanger. Okay. 
Okay, so so that that is kind of fun because earlier when I first got this idea yesterday afternoon, I wasn't sure how I was going to make the hanger, what I was going to make it out of, but I don't need to make it out of anything. It looks fine just like that. I can go in and define it a little bit more. And not all of this has to be really thick, heavy paint. So I want to just note that for myself so I can go back and fix that. That's kind of fun. It's really fun. <laughs> okay, and one other thing I want to tell you guys. There's always one other thing, but I never can put my fingers on them.